Well, hello, and welcome to another filler video where I'm going to be wasting your time for 10 minutes straight. So, if you got absolutely nothing to do, sit back, relax, and um, you probably should grab your phone and go to Twitter or Instagram because this video is gonna be absolutely me talking about a lot of stuff for 10 minutes and talking about how much money did I spend on the Persona series on the PS4 alone or maybe the Nintendo Switch as well, I don't know so let's just begin we begin with the 13 Sentinel Aegis Rim now this game this is a Japanese version obviously I don't need to tell you that but for some reason it is the Japanese version yeah, I forgot the music for some reason. <laughs> so this is a Japanese version. I played it back in 2019. It was pretty cool. Uh, I loved it. We did like a little translation thing for like the demo. So I did not play like the full game on Japanese, but I did play like the free demo, which was like three hours long or four hours long, which was pretty cool. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. So I'm gonna count that as free, but at some point I believe it did cost money, so I don't know. We got the original Vanilla, the classic Persona 5, which released in 2017. You know what? The music is so distracting, I'm just gonna mute it. <laughs> okay. Persona 5, the original this game was so special and I mean special I mean so damn special so let me just take you back at first I wasn't sure if Persona was uh, Persona 5 is going to be a good game or not so I was a little bit I don't know I wasn't sure I wasn't if this game gotta be a good game or not and, and 60 dollars seems like a lot of money at for me on 2017 and still it is for for even today 60 dollars is not like a um i don't know uh, <laughs> it's still pretty expensive that that is what i'm trying to say here so i did run the playstation 3 version on the I don't know, PlayStation 3 program where, where allow you to run PlayStation 3 games onto your computer. Um, I did test it on my laptop and it runs pretty well. And without even realizing it, I was already 15 hours or 16 hours into the game. I got into Shido Palace and... Uh, and uh, the program just crashed. <laughs> it, I don't know. For some reason, just it, it stopped working. <laughs> so I was absolutely hooked at the game. So I couldn't take it anymore. So I just got out there and I spent my hard-earned sixty dollars on this game, which I do not regret. And um, a week later, I'm already spending like more than one hundred hours with the game finished, completed. This game is absolutely fantastic. I remember the first time I'm hearing this, I don't know, Behind the Mask soundtrack. And I was just, oh god, like I got so much chills. And it's just absolutely amazing. I believe I have more than 200 hours playtime. Not sure. Maybe. Oh. Oh god, I'm getting tired, I need to sleep. 200 hours playtime, absolutely amazing. So, this game actually, uh, you know, was the start of my love for Atlas games. I did play uh, Persona 4 previously, but, but this game was like the reminder of how good Persona 4 was. We got Persona 5 Royal, which this is like the newest game, or probably one of the newest game, 
that I bought from Atlas. Um, it came out in 2020. This is the English translation or localization. Um, it's pretty dope. Um, it is everything that you loved on the original. But they added like an extra DLC and a huge and a huge palace at the end. And they added the waifu itself, Kasumi. Which if you don't know, Kasumi was probably one of the best waifus on the Persona franchise. So yeah, that that is enough reasons for you to <laughs> to buy this game and also they are running black friday sales as i am recording this uh, so you probably can pick up this game for 30 to 40 bucks brand new so that's uh, that is a pretty good deal so i'm just saying if you haven't played persona 5 for real yet do yourself a favor you're gonna you're going to thank me later please play this game now the next now, if you're going to tell me what is the best game on your PS4, I'm going to say Persona 5 Royal, no, The Royal. If you haven't noticed, the English version just only have Persona 5 Royal and the Japanese version have Persona 5 The Royal on the game icon at the top. I think that is super weird. Thanks for um, phase to... I don't know, to letting me know that that is a thing. <laughs> okay, so why this is my favorite game on this. So before this game came out, I was lost. Um, I wasn't into gaming at all. Uh, I lost my passion. I just, I didn't, uh, I don't know. Just, uh, all games seems boring and... To me, like nothing was new, nothing, nothing was special, nothing was, I don't know, hitting that spot. And um, of course, my channel suffered from f from that because this is uh, a gaming channel at the end of the day. So if I didn't upload content for gaming and I didn't have passion for it, that's just gonna be the end of it. So. So when this game came out, uh, so uh, when I finished playing Persona 5, uh, yeah, I felt pretty hollow. I felt pretty uh, shallow. I felt I felt empty inside. I didn't know what to play. I binged played Fortnite for for more than 400 to, f to 500 hours with a couple of my friends, but but Fortnite uh, quickly became a bad game and just, I couldn't take it anymore <laughs> so I deleted that game and uh, yeah, I didn't turn on my PS4 for a very 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 long time until this game came out this game was the revival of my passion for gaming so if this game haven't came out who knows maybe Maybe I'm going to be watching some Netflix or something. I don't know. Or like binge watching anime again. Which by the way, I watched over 1000 animes. So I don't need to watch more animes. Trust me. So, and also when this game came out, I was one of the first people to translate this game from Japanese to English. Uh, that, I don't know. I will say my I did... I did an okay job with translating the game. I think like I I I don't know. I translated like the core message of the entire game, but also this game is it is absolutely huge. It's massive. It's over easily 100 hours playtime, which is insane for anyone to to translate by basically himself. But I did my best. I translated all of the new content. And I did upload it as a form of a movie. I called it Persona 5 Royal. The movie it was about six, ho six hours and a half. It was the time that I met one of the 
one of the YouTubers that I watch right now. It's called FaZe. He used to do Black Ops videos, zombies, Black Ops. Uh, but basically he recently picked up Persona as well. And and yeah, and he was uploading a lot of Persona content. So yeah. <laughs> but basically a funny story that actually FaZe left a, I don't know, a hate comment on one of my videos. And I don't know, and and I respond and I responded on a toxic way, and we just kept on trash talking each other. But but basically, um, but but basically the story ended up in a happy way, so we both end up being good friends at the end. So that is pretty cool, <laughs> because basically I did not steal his basic idea at all. Like, I promise I didn't steal your idea phase. That was just something. I don't know. The past is from the past. This game got a special place on my heart. Yeah, I did buy it for 10,000 yen. Probably the most expensive game that I ever buy. And probably I would do it again if, like, if it, like, Persona 6. But other than that, I'm probably not gonna spend any any money. Or maybe if they released Persona 5 Royal on the Switch, I would definitely buy that. 100% day one supporter. So, yeah. Persona 5 The Royal was the start of me getting views. It was the... This game got me my first 100k. It got me through a lot of tough time on my life where I felt absolutely no joy at anything that I do. I hated work, I hated life, I hated I hated my home, I hated my I hated my apartment, I hated my PlayStation. Um it was absolutely an awful time and this game was like oh the brief of fresh air that I that that I needed, so I don't know. It's absolutely crazy how much I love this game. Persona 5 Scramble. I do not like this game. At all. From the first time that I saw the teaser, I said, Nope, I don't like these type of games. And uh, then like the fall, then the trailer came out and I said, You know what? This game looks kind of decent. So let me pick it up and give it like a fair chance so I did so I did pick it up obviously Japanese um, I did play the demo first um, it was kind of meh but I said maybe like the full game gonna fix up the my issues with the full with the demo but it did not I don't know the story was no, no, no. It was me as well. Um, I, and probably I, the the reason why I hated this game because of the battle system. I was always uh, a fan of the turn based RBG uh, system on the original game. When they changed it, I felt so betrayed by Atlas. So <laughs> I don't know. And uh, and also I did rush through this game. So I didn't even bother look, looking up kanjis and doing stuff like that. I didn't even bother translating the game either. It was, I don't know, I, did, I didn't care. So, And this is when FaZe started to translate uh, actually Persona content. Which, uh, yeah. You know what? We got to respect the hustle. And I respect FaZe. Faze is a good guy, yeah, and uh, Ronin as well, Ronin is actually a really, really, really nice guy, in real life, not on YouTube, so, yeah, if you're wondering, these two are really good, I don't know, I don't want to call them friends, but, yeah, they're probably friends, 13 Sentinel Aegis Rome, when this game came out, um, I was panicking because I couldn't find any PSN codes to to buy it. But uh, thanks God, the uh, second day of the release of this game, 
I did manage to pick up, uh, I don't know, a $60 or maybe 70 uh, code and I did purchase the game successfully. And I was already know w what to expect from, from this game because I already played the Japanese version. So, so yeah, it was, it was the same game that I loved in Japanese but in English, which which English is a language that I understand more than Japanese so I probably enjoyed this game a lot more <laughs> localized but it is like the same game you, I don't know it's, it's kind of visual novel tower defense game where you where you I don't know you play with these 13 characters and you progress through the stories and you know and you see how their relationship developed and changed with, with like the story, uh, with like the story, and and you control when uh, these sentinels to defend uh, Tokyo or Japan from the evil bad guys. Yes, yeah, and and I know that I probably I didn't explain it in a dope way but this game is actually really good I only like platinum six games in my entire life and this game is one of them so uh, it's just telling like how much I love this game like look at Monster Hunter probably I have like a zero percent yeah a zero percent a Bloodborne zero percent like I don't play games like, trust me when I say this I do not play games a lot it's Storm 4 was a pretty cool game. Yeah. So these are my Atlas games. <laughs> so just telling you, if I platinum like a, a game like this, I really love this game. So, uh, but compared to others, I'm not. I'm not saying Monster Hunter is a bad game. I'm just said I haven't even played it yet. So, so yeah, these are the games. Let me. Let me show you this video really quick. Um, this is a video uh, of the Japanese edition of Persona. I don't know. The way basically I held the camera is so bad. I don't know why. Seems like the video is not on full resolution. I don't know. But you can see the Japanese text, and this is the vanilla edition. So, n so not only that I have the 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 I don't know, the digital edition, I bought it physically as well, which is I don't know. I like collecting games that I love, and these two games must be I don't know in my collection, which I don't I don't own a lot of games. This is the Nintendo Switch, something that I don't, I don't know, talk about a lot in this channel, but but you can see here Persona 5 Scramble and Catherine Full Body, which is a really good game. I really need to replay that game on the Switch. Tokyo Mirage Session was also another, I don't know, Atlas experiment, which didn't really succeed it, but I liked it. It was pretty cool be a knock game it was pretty cool as well uh, but I don't know I didn't like this game it was uh, something was off about it uh, little busters uh, here little busters absolutely amazing game if you haven't checked out this game please do please do I'm begging you this is like as good as persona but uh, but it have no battles and you need to I don't know to do all routes absolutely beautiful this game actually got me teared up like a 14 years old girl so i'm just saying the Chrysia the trilogy absolutely amazing and i'm crossing meh 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 of them the the Chrysia's, it was it was pretty stupid of me trying to translate uh, this game because it was it was so insane uh, it probably was like a very bad move to <laughs> to translate it. So yeah, these were two awesome games. 
Yeah, man. Stop it. Yeah. Back to PS4. Yeah. Yeah. Do you actually feel proud of me? Yeah, baby. Yeah. 200 level 6. 6 platinum. Yeah. And I will leave, I will leave the tour l for later. Yeah, that was Atlas. Atlas Games. Atlas Trophies. All things Atlas. All things Persona. We probably going to recover them. And I understand that every single video out there is talking about the PS4, the PS5, the PlayStation 5. That indie station. <laughs> I don't know. That backward compatibility PS4 station. But yeah, I probably I'm tr I'm trying to find one, but every single place I go to buy one, it's absolutely sold out, and and you have to pay like a crazy amount of money to get it, which I I don't think the console worth like one thousand bucks or something. So yeah, for real. Um yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, I catch you next one, peace.